Hi everyone, my name is Yuna Biagioni and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how I made this mixed media portrait called Walking the Path. This video is part of the Love Summer Art event, a festival of creative art videos here on YouTube. For more information check out the description box below. I'm starting off by applying a layer of gesso. This seals the page and since I will be using acrylic paint later on, it will avoid that the paint sinks right into the paper. When the gesso is fully dried, I start sketching out the head with a light brown pastel pencil. This is just a general sketch to see where all the facial features will go. I know that I will lose these lines as I will paint over them in a later stage but it will help me now to get a feel for how I'm going to arrange the features. I keep the lines very loose and sketchy and I draw very lightly so I can easily wipe out the pastel lines if I want to change them. But again, this sketch doesn't have to be very precise or neat, because in just a moment I'm going to paint over these lines with acrylics, and then they're not visible anymore. The sketch is actually becoming quite detailed, which isn't really necessary, as I'm going to paint over it. But somehow today I'm enjoying to sketch out the features, and it also helps me to get a better feel of the portrait that I'm going to paint. Now I'm going to start painting in the shadows and highlights with various shades of blue acrylic paint. I'm using a very large brush which helps me to keep loose and not get caught up in the details. I also paint in the background, it doesn't have to be very neat, on the contrary, the various colors in the background will only add more texture and make the page more interesting to look at. When the page is fully covered with the first layer of paint, I make sure to dry it before continuing with the next layer. Now it's time to bring back some of the facial features again. Here I use a white contact crayon which I've sharpened to a point. I'm using white here because I don't want the portrait to become too dark too soon. The next step is to add in some highlights with acrylic paint in a lighter shade. I'm using a smaller brush this time, so I can add a little more detail. Here I start painting the white of the eyes. I'm using blue though, because I want to keep the eyes fairly dark. I 
I decided that I want to place the mouth a little higher up in the face. That's no problem, I'm just going to paint over it with a darker shade. I'm shaping the neckline in proportion to the face, which means that I make it wider or narrower as soon as the width of the face changes. Oh and yes, of course, the ears. I tend to forget them sometimes, but I'm painting them in. I keep them fairly sketchy though. Back to the facial features again. This time I'm using my brown pastel pencil to add them back in. With my white Conte crayon, I create some highlights. bit further in the painting process. In this stage I'm deepening the shadows with some paint in the color raw umber. I admit it looks quite ugly, but all these layers together will in the end add depth and interest to the face. I'm smoothing the shadows with some lighter paint. The layers underneath remain visible though. Until now I've alternated layers of dark and light paint and now it's time for the next stage. I'm using soft pastel crayons to add some warmer colors to the face. and I keep drawing in the details with my Conte crayon. I'm using my pastel pencil to start adding in some curly lines, which I often do in my portraits.
This is an oil paint stick, which I like to use because of its creamy consistency. I add it to the paper and then smooth it out with my rag. If you don't have an oil paint stick, you can also just keep working with the acrylic paint. Time for the details again. This eye is a little far off to the right, so I use my pastel pencil and crayon to move it just a bit more to the left. I also use my soft pastel to add some more highlights and to add color and texture to the background. And of course a few more playful curvy lines. There she is. To me she looks strong but also pure and vulnerable. Someone who is walking her own authentic path in life. And that's why I'm calling this portrait Walking the Path. <laughs>